let's shift a little bit uh, since we're talking about looking to the future. Um, there are an awful lot of trials in the melanoma space. So, for example, if someone which is, is good in, news, uh, which is great news, although we're almost victims of our own success. We were just talking about um, a lot of docs in the community. Now that we have successful treatment, yeah. they're keeping the patients. Reinhard wants all of them to come to the academic yeah, centers, yeah. but we're victims of our success because they're not always coming to the centers. They're treated in the community because we have real drugs. But what about the NRAS? population. We, we know we have lots of options for the BRAF mutated, 20% are NMAS mutated. I mean, is there anything, Reinhardt, for these patients? So first, uh, uh, I would say uh, this population is typically a little bit of advanced age and has uh, often a, a, a high mutational burden. So these patients are good candidates for immunotherapy. And if immunotherapy fails, uh, there was not a good treatment option out there. And based on in vitro and in vivo investigations, we know that uh, in, the in the situation with an, uh, with an activating NRAS mutation, we have an upregulation of the pathway that is very sensitive for a MEK inhibitor. And this has uh, been shown in phase two clinical trial that we have uh, in increased progression free survival. And this was now investigated in a prospective randomized trial with a clear result. There was obviously an improvement of progression free survival in, this, in the overall patient population. And this seems to be especially promising in patients pretreated with immunotherapy. So this can be an argument to say uh, this is a, a reasonable option. Unfortunately, the overall outcome uh, concerning overall survival was, was disappointing. And we have to find out first what is the reason for this. And second, it's clear that the MEK inhibitor alone is not the end of the story. So we, it can be a backbone. And we have to find out which are the next molecules that should be combined with this backbone. Yeah, I think we all agree that combinations are the future here. Pembrolizumab and nivolumab are wonderful drugs, but they're the backbones on which all these combinations will be based. So, uh, Caroline, what about BRAF or BRAF MEK plus Pembro or plus Nevo? I mean, does that look reasonable to you? Yes, sure. I think uh, we have a lot of trials that uh, evaluate this combination, either in a simultaneously given drugs or sequential. And uh, also, I would like that we could initiate uh, in an easier way some um, trials like phase two trials that could evaluate these sequences because uh, I'm a little bit afraid that we get engaged in big phase three and we realize afterwards that it's not the best setting. So, but there are some, uh, some trials, like for example, the Italian trial, second bit, that is going to be initiated, which is uh, sequencing and one arm is a uh, only two months of the targeted agent combined, and then um, EPNIVO, that will be interesting, and we will have, uh, I mean, Roche and Novartis, they both are going to launch big three trials where the backbone is there. RAFMEC combination plus one anti-PD-1 or one anti-PD-1. So that will be interesting. The thing is uh, right now, it's not so easy to know what the best design is. Interestingly, if the resistance mechanisms are the same, I suppose, or, or, or have some commonality, I guess you could argue they would either be logical candidates to combine or you could mm. go the other way. Mm. But again, uh, the best data I've seen are the Pembro, Dibrafinib, Trimetinib. Uh, the Tony presented the initial data that was Keynote 022. That looked pretty darn good. It was, I think essentially everybody responded. Yeah, the thing is that these drugs are very effective in the first, I mean, Dabratramate's 70% response. I think so we'll see, at, I mean, yeah. how it goes. I, I was the surprised, though, to hear about the Pembro. So you can combine everything with Pembro. It's like, it's really amazing, or with Nevo, but it was Pembro.